thank all of you. I, I thank you, Kate, and Laura, and Angie, and you, big boy. You're welcome. <laughs> so, good evening. I want to thank the Academy's Board of Governors for this wonderful evening. I feel truly honored to be here. And you know what's wonderful about being an actress is you don't just live one life, yours. You live many lives. And for that, we, we have to thank the writers. After all, they're the ones who start out with a piece of blank paper and, and they create the story and then they create the characters in the story. And that gives us actors the opportunity to hopefully bring all of those characters to life. And it's another wonderful thing about being an actress. You get to work with a lot of people, often other actors, that you have, have long admired. I was especially lucky because I got to work with Betty Davis, my all-time favorite. We did a picture called Strangers, and I was th thrilled to death when, when I heard that she was cast. And one day, we were finished with the day's work and we went down to, to see the dailies, the, the, the film that we shot the day before. And we went to the screening room and they turned off the lights and they started the film and I sat there like all actors do at the dailies, watching myself. I <laughs> saying if I, if I did that too slowly or if I, I didn't know or it quite right or if it was if it was okay and it did it did seem okay that day so I was very happy and the lights went on and I started to gather my stuff to leave and I I looked over and way in the far aisle was Betty and the cameraman. And they were too far away for me to hear what they were saying, but their body language was eloquent. <laughs> Betty was... <laughs> and the cameraman was... And since I, I, I was still, you know, I was so far away, I couldn't understand what they were saying. <laughs> but I decided that this might be a good time for me to leave. <laughs> and as I started for the door, Betty called out, Jenna? She said, would you wait just a moment, please? I need to talk to you. And I said, sure. And she walked over to me. Her eyes were, were still just blazing. And she said, did you see my lips? <laughs> I thought she was kidding. So I said, no, did you lose them? And she said, that isn't funny. 
I mean my lips on the film that we just saw. They were bright orange, an unnatural orange, and that's his fault because he's the cameraman and he has a say so about what colors are on the screen. So I think we ought to get rid of him, don't you? <laughs> and I said, well, Betty, to tell you the truth, I, I wasn't paying strict attention. I, I wasn't noticing the details, you know, of the colors at all, and I, I, I just let my mind wander, I guess. And she said, oh, really? You weren't concentrating? You let your mind wander? Well, let me tell you something. You better start concentrating and paying attention to the detail because I'm telling you, you're no spring chicken yourself. She was so funny. We had a great time. <laughs> well, I don't want to talk your heads off, but I would feel remiss if I didn't mention my late husband, John Cassavetes. <laughs> he wrote me the most magnificent parts and for other actresses too, and, and, and sometimes he directed them, and I surely do have to thank him for that. Oh, and I, I did want to thank, thank the Board of Governors for introducing me to this fine fellow. <laughs> Tall and shiny and gold, very handsome, you know. You know, he's just so elegant that I'll, this, that is, if nobody objects, I think I'll take him home with me tonight. <laughs> and I'll find, oh, I'm here, I'm here, Nick, 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 here. And I'll find I'll find a wonderful place for him to sit. Maybe on the piano. And then everyone who comes to my house will have a chance to see him and admire him and love him the way I do. So, thanks, governors, and I'm very happy to see all of you here tonight in the audience. I'm happy to have been able to spend some time with you. Thank you.